In this video I am going to show you 5 amazing video effects you can try in CapCut. First start a new project, then import all the footages you will be using to the timeline. So I have 4 videos that I will be using for this tutorial. And also try and arrange your videos on the timeline the way you want. Then select your footages individually, then trim them. So I want this video effect to be fast. So I will trim my video to about 3 seconds long, but your can be more or less. So after trimming our videos, they are very tiny on the timeline. So just go to this place then click on zoom to fit to stretch your video. And it's very useful right? So if you want useful features in CapCut the I will put the link in the description, you can click on this card here to watch. So now make all the necessary editing to your footages on the timeline. Now when you are done, move your playhead to where your second video starts. Then click on the freeze icon to freeze that frame. Then move it to the next layer in between your first and the second footage. Now do same for the third and the fourth footage. So place the playhead at where the third video starts. Click on freeze to freeze that frame, then move it on top between the second and third footage. So do same for the fourth video. So now trim your freeze clips, and make sure your freeze footage starts before their actual video starts. So watch the tutorial carefully and do same. And when trimming, since we want a fast transition, so just make it around 0.5 seconds. So now it's time to remove the background from each of our freeze frame. So we will select the first one. Then go to remove background under basics, then we will select custom removal. Then now draw over the object, so I will draw over the car, and CapCut AI will automatically select the object for you. So if you are satisfied with CapCut selection, then click on apply to remove the background. Now let's remove the background of the other two freeze clips. So for this footage I will use auto removal since I am removing the background of a person. Then do same for the last one. Now it's time to add some animation, so go the animation, then go to an animation. So you can use any animation that works best for you. So for the first one I will use slide up. Select the second one and choose any animation that you want, and do same for the last freeze clip. So extra tip to make your video epic, so you can add some effect to your clips to spice things up. So this is how to create a puzzle transition effect in CapCut. So I will be using this video, so just add it to the timeline. Now use the playhead to choose the exact spot you want to use. Then click on the freeze icon to freeze that frame, so CapCut will give you a still frame image. Now make a duplicate of your freeze frame, so you can copy and paste or hold the Alt key. Then drag your footage on top to create a duplicate. And place it right on top on the actual footage. Now remove the background of the freeze frame. So go to remove background then select auto removal. So wait for a while for CapCut to remove the background for you. Then add some stroke to your footage. So select stroke, then select solid stroke. So you can also change the color of the stroke and the size depending on what you want. So now we are going to create a slow zoom in effect using keyframe. So now go to basic and add your first keyframe under transform. Then move your playhead to where you want the zoom in animation to end. Then scale up your footage to create the zoom in animation. Now select your freeze frame on the main layer then add some adjustment. So go to adjustment, then decrease the exposure and increase the contrast. And you can also add effects to the footage if you want. So now let's add some text, so go to text and add a default text to the timeline. Then type anything you want, and make all the editing you want. So this is how to create a character intro in CapCut. So let's move to the next tutorial. So I want to change the color of this car to a different color, so I will add it to the timeline. Then go to adjustment. Now click on HSL and as you can see there are a lot of colors here and each has three options, a tint, saturation and lightness. So if the color of the object is red you select red, if yellow you select yellow, and if blue you select blue. So since we are changing the color of the car from red to a different color, we will select red, then adjust the tint to change the color. So as you can see if you move the slider to the right, the color changes to orange, and if you move the slider to the left it changes to purple. So you can use the saturation if you want the color to change to ash. So let's move to the next tutorial.
so I will be using this video for this tutorial. So I will add it to the timeline. So now edit all the part that you don't want. So now move the playhead to where your object comes in place. Then click on the freeze frame icon. Then move on top to the next layer. Then extend it to match the duration of the main clip. Then remove the background. So go to remove background. Then select auto removal. So wait for a while for the background to be removed. So move the playhead forward again then freeze that frame. Then move it on top of the layer and extend it to match the duration of the main clip. Then remove the background. So do as many as you want to the end of the video. So when done just export your video. So let's move to the next tutorial. So in this tutorial I want to isolate the color of the car. I will just add it to the timeline. Then go to adjustment and select HSL. So as you can see there are a lot of colors here, and since we are isolating the red, we will not touch that at this moment. So first I will start with all green colors in the footage, so I will select green then decrease the saturation to negative. Then I will move to orange, then decrease the saturation to negative 100. So I will do same for blue, until the background completely turns black and white. Then select the red and increase the saturation. So as you can see there is a red color in the footage that we want to turn to black and white. But if we do that on that footage the color of the car will also change. So first make a duplicate of your footage. Then adjust the footage until it is black and white. Then when you are done go to mask and select horizontal mask. Then rotate your mask to cover the color you don't want. Then select the two footages and create a compound clip. So this is how you can create this color isolation effect in CapCut. So if you have any question, just leave a comment in the comment section and also if you like this video, the subscribe, like, and share our videos. See you in the next video.